guys welcome back to my channel so today I have another declutter video for you guys as you know I've been working on decluttering my makeup collection and I've been going like one category at a time and posting a new uh, declutter about every two weeks well I was planning to do skincare at the very end after I finished all of my makeup but I have been really overwhelmed with the amount of skincare that I have right now because uh, I keep getting a ton of PR packages with lots of skincare and it's gotten to the point where I can't even close my backup skincare drawer so I thought it would be time to do this declutter. As you can see there is a lot of skincare sitting right here but the scary part about that is this is not it actually. Okay, gotta make room. There's not even enough room to show you everything in one in one frame. So all the stuff that you guys saw sitting here in boxes, uh, those are items that I gathered from like my bathroom, my everyday makeup drawer, and my uh, nighttime skincare routine. So these are things that have already been opened that I've been working through. This bag is the scary bag. This giant bag here is completely full of all brand new skincare. So my sheet masks are on top, but underneath these are all skincare items that are still in the box and you guys, this is ridiculous. Like, there's no way I can go through all of this before it expires. So, um, I can hardly even lift this bag. That's how big it is. So, I think it's time to do this. Uh, but as you can see, there's so much skincare here. Uh, <laughs> I, I have no excuses. I have no excuse, excuses, you guys. Some of this I did buy, but a lot of this just came to me in PR. Or back when I worked at uh, Sephora, we got a lot of skincare and gratis. But, um... Because there is so much here, I'm probably going to have to split this video into multiple videos. Hopefully just two, but we will see. It really depends on how this goes. So for now, I'm going to set this aside, and I think what I'm going to do is go category by category, because that makes the most sense. So I'm going to get set up the first category, and I will be right back. Okay, so I have little piles everywhere, but um, I started with just organizing the open skincare because I want to do the open skincare first so I can see how much I have that I'm currently basically working through. These ones I'm kind of committed to because I already opened them before going through the unopened because I might be able to rehome some of the unopened stuff if I have an excessive amount. Hopefully that makes sense. So I want to go through this first. Um, so yeah, let's start there. Okay, most of these categories are surprisingly not too bad. I, I try not to open too much of one thing at a time, so that's that's good, but that's why I have so many backups. All right, this first little category we're going to start with, these are treatments right here. So I have, the first thing I have here is from Kate Somerville. This is the Redisphere Micro Peel. I love this product. Um, I just bought this right before, well, not right before, but... Uh, not too long before I found out I was pregnant, and I actually can't use this right now because it has retinol in it. But um, once I do have the baby, I will continue using this and finish it off because I love this product. I've gone through many full sizes of this. Um, this is a treatment I use at night only. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of put aside for now until I'm no longer pregnant, but I will be keeping that. All right, next up, this is from Murad. This is the Acne Fast Fix Treatment. Um, I've had this open a very long time. I don't see... Usually there's a little jar symbol on here that'll tell you how many months you can have it open before it goes bad, but I'm pretty sure I've had this too long. I've had this open for probably close to two years, so um, it has changed in color, and um, it's not something I use very often anymore. When I first got this, I was getting a lot more breakouts. I, I don't get them too often anymore, and I have other products that are more gentle. This one's very, very drying. But if you are very acne prone, um, this does do an amazing job of immediately reducing the size of a pimple or a breakout. So I do uh, recommend it, but this one has to go in the trash now. All right, I already had to change <laughs> into my comfy pants. It's not easy sitting on the floor cross-legged when you're pregnant, so uh, you got to have comfortable pants on. The last product that I had in the treatment category is from Dr. Dennis Gross. This is called the Ferulic Retinol Brightening Solution. Um, I actually never did open this one. I had put it in. I had put it in my travel box. A lot of these travel size items actually haven't been opened, um, but I just keep them handy in case I'm traveling. I, I honestly don't even know how to use this. Uh, product and I don't think that I ever will take the time to figure it out but it does have uh, retinol in it. So 
So I think it's best for me to just pass this along before it goes bad to someone who will use it. So that'll go in the giveaway pile. I'm going to be giving a lot of this stuff to family and friends. I, ha I did think about some of the items that I purchased with my own money if it's unopened, maybe selling on Poshmark, but I don't know how much of that I'm going to come across because honestly, a lot of this either came in PR or I've already tried it out. So... Alright, um, next I have my eye makeup removers, and as you can see, I don't have much left here. I just have these two. Um, this one is almost gone. This is the one I've been using. It's the Clinique Ta Take the Day Off. I'm obviously going to keep that. I only have a few uses left there. And then once that's gone, I'm going to move to this fresh soy one. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but... I don't have a lot of eye makeup remover, so I am going to keep both of these. I think I do have one full-size one in my unopened bag, and that's it. Like, there's just not that much. So I definitely feel good about being able to use both of these up, so I'll keep those. Okay, let's move on next to um, eye, like, eye treatments and stuff. These are the, just the ones I have open right now. So um, this set of eye masks I just got from Pixie in PR. It's the T Detox If Eye. Um, eye patches. I've only used two sets of these so far, but I really like them so far. Definitely want to continue using those. I keep these at my desk, so on no makeup days when I'm working, I usually pop a pair of these on to wake me up a little bit, so I do like those. I will be keeping those. All right, this is my current eye cream that I'm using at nighttime. This is my Caudalie Premier Crew, uh, the eye cream is what it's called. I like it so far. I've only been using it a couple weeks, uh, but I do want to continue using this and get that used up. All right, and then for my daytime eye cream, I am currently using this one from Belief. Um, it's just a like deluxe sample size. As you can see, I have a lot of these deluxe sample sizes. I'm trying to use up what I have. Um, this is almost gone. It's about half gone, so I, won't, I don't have a lot of time left using this up. I'd like to just use that up and get it out. And as a backup in my um, everyday makeup drawer for once that one's gone, I'm going to move on to trying to use this one from a more Pacific, which is called the Moisture Bound. And again, it's just a deluxe sample size. I think I can easily get through both of those pretty quickly. So I'll keep both. Um, and then I have this Freeze 24-7 Anti-Aging Eye Serum. I have not tried this yet either. I feel like the nighttime eye cream I have now is going to last a long time, but those two daytimes, probably not too long. So maybe I'll move this to my everyday makeup drawer to be my backup of my backup and just get through this one as well. All right, so that should be good for that. Okay, moving on to lip treatments. I have these ones that are currently open. So I have this uh, Scentbird melting lip balm. I'm actually going to move this to my purse because the one I had in my purse I ran out of and I do always like to keep a lip balm in my purse. So I'm going to move this to my purse and then for my daytime lip balm I've been using this one from Too Faced. It's the peach lip balm. Um, I, I'd say I'm like a, a good quarter of the way through this one. I have been using it pretty much every single day so I will keep that one. And then as my nighttime um, lip treatment, I use this Laneige Sleeping Mask. I've been using this for a while. This lasts forever, you guys. Like, I've been using this, I want to say, I don't know, like six months or so, and I still have a massive amount left. So uh, definitely do enjoy it. I'm going to be keeping that one. And then I had this By Terry Balm Du Rose as a backup for my nighttime. I have actually used this. It was in my daytime drawer, and I decided it was too thick for a daytime lip balm, so I moved it to my nighttime. So um, I will keep this in there. Since I did already start using it, um, I will keep this, but I don't know. I definitely need to look through the rest of my lip balms that I have unopened if I have any more. Okay, and then last but not least, I have this one from Givenchy. Um, I do like, I have this in my everyday makeup drawer. I do like having this one um, for when I don't want to use a potted lip balm because that Too Faced one is in a pot. Sometimes I prefer a wand. I don't know. It's just kind of preference that morning. So I have used this one as well, but I just, I use the Too Faced one mostly and then every once in a while I'll, I'll grab this one instead. Um, so I will keep that for now as well. I don't think two balms in my everyday makeup drawer is too much. Let's move on to these over here. This is a category I definitely need to cut down on because I don't use facial oils daily. And as you can see, I have a lot of facial oils. Since my skin has been getting more dry, I've been using them a little bit more. But I definitely don't need this many of them. So I want to go through them real quick. Um, I just got these two not too long ago. And I'm still kind of testing them out. So I'd like to keep both of these. This is the Lancome Benefiat Multivital. It's like a replenishing oil is what they call it. And then the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin rose nourishing oil. I want to keep both of those. And then I have a bunch from Farsali and I do like a couple of these. So I like the unicorn 
um, essence and I also like the rose gold one. I think these are both really nice and I've used both of them uh, quite a few times so I will keep those. However, this one is the Volcanic Elixir. Um, I didn't enjoy this one so I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, declutter that one. Okay, and then next I have um, two of these uh, Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oils. I don't need to. Um, they're basically the same, I believe. They look a little different, but I think they're the same thing. So I'll keep one because I do actually want to try it. Everyone talks about this and I still haven't tried it. So I'll keep one and go ahead and get rid of this one. And then next up, I have two of the Josie Moran Argan Drops. So this one here is the Argan Moonstone Drops. This one is a priming and highlighting oil. Um, and then this one is the Reserve, which is supposed to be a like, more concentrated version of her Argan Oil. Uh, I kind of want to keep both of these. Is that too much oils to keep? Probably is. I think I'll keep the Reserve Oil because I, I s still have not had a chance to try this yet. Um, I just have so many oils, so I do need a, I do want to try that one. But this one, I just don't see myself using a priming oil. It's not something I reach for, so um, I've had it for a while, and I think I've used it one time. So I think I'll go ahead and let go of that one. Okay, moving on to the next category. These are my facial moisturizers. So only a couple of these are open. A lot of these are just deluxe samples that I had set aside for, like, travel purposes. So let's start with what I'm using right now. So I have been using this Estee Lauder Resilience Lift uh, Firming. Uh, face and neck cream. It's almost gone. This is what I've been using at night, so I do want to keep that and finish it off. I'm almost there. And then for my daytime moisturizer, I've been using this fresh one. This is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar. I love this. This is one of my favorite moisturizers I've ever tried. It's really good. Again, I am almost out of this one, so I will put a backup in both my AM and PM for when I use these two up. So... I don't think I had a backup in either one. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to put this one from um, Drunk Elephant. It's the La Retro Whipped Cream as my backup for my daytime because I've been wanting to try this. So once I run through the fresh one, I'll start using that. Yeah, this one, I think I will try this one after I run out of the one I'm using at night right now. This is called the Sleep Tight Firming Night Balm. Um, my skin has been so dry, I think a balm sounds really nice and I love pharmacy products so I'll put this as my nighttime backup. This I have already opened. I was traveling with this so it's like half gone already. Um, so I do want to keep this and just finish it off. I'll make this my like travel uh, one. This is the Kate Somerville Age Arrest Anti-Wrinkle Cream so I do want to keep that one. Okay next I have two of these pharmacy honey drops. I haven't opened either of these so I'll keep the one that's a little bit bigger. This came in a little gift set and then this one that I actually got in gratis but never opened I will go ahead and pass along. Skincare is hard for me to let go of because I just love skincare. Okay this I just got in PR recently from Algenis. I didn't even notice this when I showed it to you guys but they actually engraved it. It says Sweet Dreams Lisa. I thought that was so cool. This is their new Genius Sleeping Collagen. I do actually really want to try this. It's more of like a nighttime treatment so I am going to put this on my nightstand so I can use it at night. I haven't tried it quite yet but I'm excited to give that a try. I know I'm not getting rid of a lot yet you guys but once I get to the unopened stuff I'm going to be a little more ruthless. This actually feels like it's almost empty. This is from Corez. It's the Black Pine Firming and Lifting uh, Lightweight Night Cream. So what happens with these little baby sizes whenever I travel, which I haven't traveled in a while, but uh, we used to travel a lot back when I was married. Um, so whenever we would travel, I would just randomly grab some of these little travel sizes. Um, so sometimes they'd get opened, used a couple times, and then put away for a while. And this one feels like it's almost empty. So I'm going to go ahead and toss that. I don't know how long that's been open. And I feel the same way about this Kate Somerville one. I think this has also been open for a, opened at one point and then uh, used a few times. So this is the Wrinkle Warrior. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, these three are all ones that I either already know I love or I want to try. I haven't tried this City Skin one from Murad, but both of these I have tried and love. So I do want to keep these little ones. Again, these ones I can go through pretty quickly. Once I pull it into my everyday makeup drawer, I could use up like this little guy in three weeks. So I feel like... It's okay to keep these little baby ones and just get them used up. All right, the next category for open products, I have my facial serums here. So let's start with what I'm using now. Right now at night, I am using this Algenist Genius Anti-Aging Vitamin C Serum. I really love this. I really love this. I've been using it for a little over a month now, and I'm really happy with my results. I've noticed my skin has been a lot more even. So definitely going to continue using that and finish it off. 
And then my daytime uh, current serum that I'm using is from Salawasu. This is the First Care Activating Serum, and I've been enjoying this one as well. And I feel like this sh I should be using up pretty quickly now. I've been working on this guy for a couple months, so I feel like I should be getting close to using it up soon. It's hard to tell because the actual packaging is very heavy, so you can't really tell how much product's in there, but definitely want to continue using that. For my backup daytime serum, I'm going to go ahead and move this Cora's Golden Crocus. I've used up a full size of this before, and I really love it. This little baby size, I think I could probably use in a week, so I'll put that in there, and maybe a second option, actually, because that's so small. Let's go with this little one. Um, as like a secondary backup. This is from Clarence. It is the Lift a Fine Visage Serum. Haven't tried this yet, so we'll try that. All right, and then for my backup for nighttime, this from Shiseido is the Ulta Mune Power Infusing Concentrate. I'll try that. Both of these, I think, are products that I can't use while I'm pregnant. This one has retinol in it, and I'm not sure about, um, about this one. This is a power serum. I think it has some ingredients in here that I need to... Uh, research before I can use it, but I can always set these aside and start using them after my, I'm done with my pregnancy. I only have a couple months left, so not too long before I'd be able to start using these, and I have some that I'm going through anyway, so I can just set these aside for now. Let's move on to cleansers, because I do have quite a few open. These guys here. So these are the cleansers I had in my bathroom. Right now, I've been using these two. I do a double cleanse, so I have like my melting cleanser that I've been using is this one from Algenist. It's the Genius Melting Cleanser. I love this one. It's a really good one. And for my secondary cleanse, I've been using this Ula Henriksen Balance oil control cleanser. I, I don't love this one for my skin type right now. If you have combo to oily skin, you'd probably prefer it, but um, it's been okay. It hasn't dried, overly dried my skin or anything like that. So anyway, this is almost gone, this little travel size one. So uh, I had this guy out to use up next. Um, so yeah, I probably have like three days left of use on this guy and then I'll move to this here. So I do want to keep those. And then the rest of these are all oil-based cleansers as well. So this one from Shuamura, I think I tried this one time and then I forgot I had it and got stuck like in the back of my cupboard. So I'm going to go ahead and start using this when I finish off the one from Algena. So I do want to keep that. And then I am going to keep this because I love it. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean. Um, this is one of my favorite melting cleansers. This is really good. I can't get rid of it. I definitely want to use that. So we'll keep that. These here, however, um, this little one from Bosha, well, these are the same thing. These are the Bosha Charcoal Makeup Melters. I don't like these because I, I can't stand the smell. The smell of it is just too intense for me, and the charcoal is a little drying as well. This one hasn't been opened, so I'll pass that one along. However, this one I have used a few times, so I'm going to see if my daughter wants it, but if not, I'm just going to go ahead and toss it. All right, next up I have these here, which are tanning products and sunscreen. I'm going to keep both of my sunscreen products. I'm going to keep both of these sunscreens because I know we are going to use those up pretty quickly here. All right, and then for these tanning products, I just don't use tanning products enough to have this much. First of all, this Saint Tropez Gradual Tan uh, Tinted Tanner, I'm just not, not going to use that, so I will pass that along. This one here has been open forever. There's probably one use left in this. I did used to use this a lot. This is the Saint Tropez Self Tanning Bronzing Mousse. Um, I used to use it a lot. I really do like it. I just don't take the time to use a self tanner anymore. I just go with my natural skin color. So um, since there's hardly anything left in here, I'm going to toss that. Uh, next, I have this Tan Lux The Water. This is a hydrating self tanning water. This is kind of cool. I've used it a few times, but not too much. Um, I am going to keep this one. This will be my only tanning product. In case I have a event or something that I want to look tan for, I will keep that. Uh, this also has been open way too long. This is the v Le uh, Vita Labrada Luxury Tan. I actually didn't like this one as much as the uh, Saint Tropez anyways, so I probably would have never gotten around to using it, but it's been open forever, so that can go. All right, and then this here is actually more like body makeup than a self-tanner. It's the T2 Tan Face and Body uh, Gradual Bronzing Spray, by, and it's from By Terry. Um, this is actually really beautiful on the skin, so I do want to keep that as well, and those will be, that'll be it for my tanning products. All right, next, I have a couple just miscellaneous random things uh, that are like individual, so I thought I'd go through them. those. I have these RMS Makeup Removing Wipes, I am going to keep these. Um, I do have another set of wipes in my, uh, in my with the new stuff, which I'll show you in a second, but these are the only ones I have open right now, and I, I love these, so definitely keeping those. All right, and then I have this here from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Firm X. 
peeling gel. I love this for resurfacing. I use it at least once a week. It's almost gone, so I am going to keep that and finish that off. I also have the one from Saturday Skin, but I don't see it now, so I'm not sure where that is. It might have got in the wrong pile or something. I'm sure we'll come across it later, but keeping that. This is category I wanted to avoid, but these are all of my current open masks. So let's set these out and take a peek, shall we? As you can see, I have way too many masks. Oh, here's the other one. This is the other peeling gel that I have. Um, this one's from Saturday Skin. I am keep keeping this because the Peter Thomas Roth one is almost gone, and they work almost identically. I love them both, so I'm going to keep this one because I'll just continue using this one and I run out of the PTR. Okay, let's move on to the rest of this. So let's get rid of some easy things that I know I did not like first to make it a little easier on myself. What did I not like in here? I know there was some stuff. This. Okay, I know I don't like this. I'm never going to use it. This is from Origins. It's the Maskamizer Skin Optimizing Mask Primer. It honestly does nothing. I feel like I'm spraying water on my face before applying a mask, which for some masks that might help it a little bit but honestly it just was an extra step I always forgot to do um, at one point I think I put this in like a project pan and um, I got myself to use about half of it yeah this was a waste of my money I'm sad that I bought it but um, it's done now and I'm not gonna use it so I'm gonna get rid of it okay I also know I did not like this here this is from Clarins it's the SOS comfort mask um, this is the nourishing one. I it, It's weird. The, the way this applies and the way you have to remove it was very odd. Um, it says to apply to the face and neck, avoiding eye area, leave for 10 minutes, and then remove with a cotton pad soaked in lotion. Um, I just found it to be messy, and I didn't really love it. So I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, here's another easy decision. I have two of these 24 karat gold. This little baby size one came in um, like a... I feel like it came in like a set or something. Um, I don't need both. I'm going to keep the larger one and go ahead and let go of the smaller one. And then this one I know I did not like. This is the Skin Iceland. It's like a rubber mask. I'll show you. These were just hard to use. And I don't, I feel like it was so messy and I just, I I don't have the time. So I'm going to go ahead and let go of that one. It's This one hasn't been used. So this particular one, um, I can go ahead and pass along to someone else. All right, and then this here is from Bosha. This is the Sabaki Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask. Um, something spilled all over this, so it looks disgusting. <laughs> but I actually do want to try it, even though it looks really gross. So I'm going to move that to my nightstand so I can try it. Um, also, this goes on my nightstand. This is the Fresh Black Tea Firming Overnight Mask. I've been using this a lot. I'm about halfway through it, so I'm trying to get this used up this year. And... Um, so I do want to keep this. By the way, I was thinking about doing a skincare project pan once I finish this declutter so that I can use up some of what I'm keeping because I know I'm still going to keep a large amount of skincare and I need to use some of it up. So if you guys want to see that, leave me comments below. Okay, speaking of trying to use it up, this one here is uh, from First Day Beauty. It's the Ginger and Turmeric uh, Mask. I've been trying to use this up as well, and I'm about halfway through that, so um, this one I do want to keep. Also, I really love this one. It's very moisturizing. I really like that a lot. Okay, this one here <clears throat> I can go ahead and let go of. This is from Volition. It's the Jet Set and Protect Leave-On Mask. I didn't like the texture of this leave-on mask. I don't know. With most leave-on masks, I like them to absorb a little bit better. This one just kind of left a residue, so for that reason, I'd, I'm, I know I'm not going to use it again, so I'll get rid of that. Okay, some more of my favorites that I know I want to keep. This one from PTR. This is the Hungarian Thermal Water Mask. I love this one. It, like, heats up. It's really cool. So I do definitely want to keep that one. This one here I still haven't tried. This is the TLC Sakari Baby Facial. I'm not even sure if you consider this a mask. I think it is. Um, anyway, I haven't even tried this yet. I forgot I even had it. So definitely want to keep that. I really do enjoy this one from Amand. This is the Petal Purifying Bubble Mask. It feels really cool. It does bubble up. I like the feeling of it, so I want to keep that. And this one from Kate Somerville I've been using um, as well. This is the Eradicate Mask. This is really good for um, blemishes because it does have sulfur in it, and the sulfur... The sulfur will uh, kill the bacteria because it basically like removes all the oxygen from your pore and uh, the bacteria can't live without the oxygen so it kills off the bacteria which then kills the blemish so it does an amazing job of getting rid of any acne um, and I've used a lot of it. My daughter actually shares this one with me so I do want to keep that. Okay, 
This one here, this is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. This is a really good mask for oily, acne-prone skin, which I do not have any longer. However, my daughter does. I never actually used this. Um, I think I bought it just on a whim in the Beauty on the Fly section, so I'm actually going to pass this along to my daughter. Okay, this mask from Bosha, I'm almost out of. I honestly need to put this on my... Um, like my sink in my bathroom so I remember to use it. I probably have one use left in here. This is the Bo Bosha Pore Putty Detox Mask. I really like it. It's really nice for when you have, um, when you've got a little bit more clogged pores. I definitely need to do that skincare uh, project pan because I have a lot of almost finished products. This one's almost gone. This one's almost gone as well. This is the Glam Glow Flash Mud. Um, I like this. This is probably one of my favorite from Glam Glow. I have a lot of them, um, but this one I really enjoy. That one I want to keep. This one is the Super Mud. This is one everybody raves about. Um, I honestly hardly ever use this anymore. It's just too drying for my skin. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let go of that one. This Glam Glow Mask is the uh, Thirsty Mud. This one is for uh, moisturizing. I even like using this as sometimes an overnight mask because it's very hydrating. It feels really good. I do want to keep this one as well. Oh, and in May, I am going to do my May Mask Challenge again. So hopefully I can get through some of these uh, by doing that. All right, and then this one here is the Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliating Mask from Glam Glow. I feel like this one has dried out. Yeah, you can see. Unfortunately, this one has dried out on me. I thought that would happen soon. I've had this one for a while. I used um, most of it. I probably had a quarter of the product left in there, which is sad because these are very expensive, but that has to go in the trash. Okay, I have two of these Dr. Jart Dermaclears left. These come in a three-piece set. Um, I've gone through like two sets of these already, and I just have these two left. Um, I really enjoy these masks. I've talked about them many, many, many times. Um, they're such a great value for how much product you get and for the price. Um, so I definitely want to keep these because I do use them. And uh, yeah, I'll be keeping both. This is really difficult. Okay, next I have this uh, Dr. Brandt Needles No More 3D Volumizing Mask. Um, I do want to keep this as well. This is really good for like plumping the skin wrinkles, that kind of thing. So anti-aging. Definitely want to hang on to that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Why do I have a, such a hard time with masks? I love masks. Uh, this is from PTR again. This is the Irish Moore Mud Mask. Um, I've only used this a couple of times. I think it's still good. I do like this one. Again, it's a detoxing type of mask, so I think I'll keep that. This is also very new to my collection. I still need to test it out a few more times. I've only used it once so far. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin uh, moisturizing glow mask. So I definitely want to give that some more time, um, to test out. Oh, this one I love. This is the Coraz Wild Rose, um, instant brightening mask. So I love the sleeping facial from this line as well that I actually probably prefer that over this one. However, this one is really nice as well. This is more of a, um, like a traditional mask where the other one you, you know, sleep with it on, obviously. This one you put on and wash away, but um, I think that it is still a really good product and I do want to use up what I have left. This is the Pharmacy Honey Potion Mask. Uh, my friend Melanie was telling me I need to try this and I still haven't yet, so I will um, keep that. I, I need to test that out. Um, this is from Josie Moran. This is the Whipped Mud Mask. I think I've only tried that a couple times. I do want to finish that off, so we'll keep that. You know what? I will get rid of this because I haven't used it yet. Um, even though it was in, even though it was in with my open products, I have not used this yet, and I clearly have enough masks, um, and I don't need more uh, poor purifying type of masks. So I will pass this one along. But the rest of these I have opened and tried, and I would like to finish them off. So I will be keeping the rest of these. All right, we only have a couple categories left for open products, and then I am going to be doing the new products in a separate video because I'm already getting tired. <laughs> so these are my toners here, my facial toners. Um, so facial toner is something I hardly ever use. So why do I have so much? I do not know. Um, a lot of these actually haven't been opened. Uh, this here from Origins, I have tried a couple times. I purchased this on a whim, and once again, I don't know why because I just don't use toner very often and this one is meant more for combo skin so I'm gonna go ahead and let go of that and then this one here from Miracle Food I got this in PR never ever opened it so I will go ahead and let go of that this here is from a brand called feel it is a uh, hydrating floral mist so it's a, a toner mist basically I've used about half of this up and I, I didn't really notice a difference with it I just I, I don't know I have other facial sprays I prefer over this so I'm gonna get rid of that this actually has been open for a while so I'm gonna toss it in the garbage. 
Next, I have this Sunday Riley Martian Melting Water Gel Toner. Um, this, again, is something better for combo, combo to oily skin, so um, I don't really have an interest in trying it anymore. I think I got it as a point perk but then I decided I don't I don't want to try it, so I'll get rid of that. All right, and then these two I would like to keep. So this one is uh, one I got from Pixie, and it's customized with my name on it as well. This is the Glow Tonic. I have tried it a couple times. This one sits on my bathroom counter. I'm more likely to use this because it's in my visual sight every day, um, so I will keep that toner. Um, and this one I've only tried a couple times so far, and I really want to continue using. This is the Paula's Choice Resist toner. Um, I haven't tried a lot from Paula's Choice. I have a few items um, and I do want to continue trying that out. So I'll just keep these two. Okay, this is already a long video and it's only part one, but this last category here we're going through today, this is my body care items. So let's go through this fairly quickly. It's a miscellaneous uh, category because it's a lot of different types of body care. The first thing is this Coco Cabana Cream from Sol de Janeiro. Um, this I am about halfway through using. I've been using this every night, well most nights, the nights I remember. <laughs> I've been using this as um, a belly cream on my um, on my growing tummy, so this is hopefully helping me prevent stretch marks. The more I've been using it, the less I like it. I do want to use it up, however, I would not repurchase. Um, it just leaves a sticky residue, so I don't mind it too much since I'm just putting it on my belly at night before I go to bed. By the time I wake up in the morning, it's fully absorbed, but it would really bother me if I was using it like during the day or on the rest of my body, so I use it just on my belly and that's it. Just want to use this guy up, but I will continue to use it. And then I have been using this here from uh, First Aid Beauty's the Ultra Repair Cream. I've been using this on my hands at night, and I want to keep using this. Actually, as soon as I run out of the Sol de Janeiro one I just showed you, I'm going to be using this on my belly as well. Um, I really just am trying to use that guy up. So, yeah, definitely keeping that. Next, I have another Ultra Repair Cream. This is actually just um, like a little travel size. Uh, I'm going to throw this back in my handbag. I only have a few uses left in here, so I want to keep it and just use it up. Next, I have this Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil Intensive Hand Cream. This one actually lives in my desk drawer, and I do use it all the time when I'm working at my desk, and if I notice my hands are dry, I just grab this, so definitely keeping that as well. Next, I have this from Be Stunning. This is called the Anti-Aging Hand Balm. Um, this is weird. It looks like a deodorant stick, like it's a stick form, and it's very like thick and... I don't know, it's just a very bizarre texture. It feels more like a deodorant than a, a hand balm. So I've tried it a few times. I actually really love the scent of it. The scent is really nice. I have tried it a few times thinking maybe it's a little more of an intense treatment and I could get over the texture um, if it did a good job. So uh, I had this like on my nightstand, but it's just too thick and too difficult to work with. So I'm gonna go ahead and let go of that. Okay, this hand cream I keep at my, um, at my bed. However, I'm gonna get rid of it now because I just don't like it. This is from Ula Henriksen. It's the Empower Hydrating Hand Cream. This is the first product from Ula that I did not like. And I did use about half of it. I tried to make myself just use it up, but the, this actually felt like it was drying out my hands. Um, and obviously you don't want to put on a moisturizer that's gonna make your hands more dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this now. All right, next up I have this Eve Lom Cuticle Cream. Um, this is on my nightstand as well. It's the only cuticle cream I have right now, so I do wanna keep it. This here is my um, aftershave balm. I use this on my legs after I shave. I am very, uh, I have very dry legs and I'm very prone to razor burn, so I have to use an aftershave. This is almost gone, but I am gonna keep that and continue using it. Okay, next I have a few of these um, body scrubs. So I have a body scrub in my shower right now, which is almost gone, and I will need these later as soon as that's gone. This one from Josie, however, this one is still sealed and I don't need this. I have too much here, so I'm gonna go ahead and let go of that one. And then I just recently got both of these. This one, this one from H2O, I think I'm gonna be using next, so I will keep that. And then this one is from Mana Qatar. Yeah, I got this in FabFitFun. I could probably go through these this year. Yeah, I'll probably keep this one as well, but if I have any other body scrubs in my new stuff drawer, uh, or bag, I'm gonna have to just get rid of it because that'll be too much. Um, this is from Juice Beauty. This is the Green Apple Firming Body Moisturizer. I definitely wanna keep this. I know I'm gonna be needing it. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna keep this. All right, we have a couple body oils here. 
This is uh, from the brand Pure Body Naturals. It's a massage oil, and this is from Body Shop. It's a Susuma Beautify Beautifying Oil. Um, I actually like using these on my legs as well after I shave if I don't have an after balm, and since I'm almost out of that aftershave balm, I think I'll keep these uh, for that purpose. And last but not least, I have this Re uh, Paula's Choice Resist Retinol Skin Smoothing Body Treatment. Again, I had to set this aside. I can't use this right now because of my pregnancy, um, but I do want to continue using it again as soon as I'm no longer pregnant, so I'll be keeping that. All right, you guys, so that is it for my declutter of my open products, and I'm going to take a quick inventory of what I did end up keeping for each category, so heading into the new stuff bag, which you guys saw. Let me bring it back over here. Oh my God, that's heavy. So that way, when we're getting into all this stuff, I kind of know what I have already, so I don't keep too many backups of each category. So this is all the stuff we are going to be looking at next. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. This video will hopefully be going up very soon. And thank you for taking the time to watch this very, very long video today. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.